All right, DKC 6772, very consistent product, has been for many years in all of South Texas. Uh, in fact, for the last uh, five to six years, been our number one performing product because of its consistency. Excellent stress taker. If you notice, it's not a very attractive plant, not very tall, um, but it's a, a very consistent yielding product. Uh, one of the things we know about it, it's, uh, it just doesn't have a lot of flex. It's a very fixed ear product, so we really need to maximize yield by pushing population with this product. Um, from a uh, disease standpoint, this product rates a three for northern leaf blight and a four for southern rust. So it does have some excellent uh, disease tolerance for our area, uh, but what it's known for really is its stress tolerance uh, and its consistency. Just a very consistent uh, performing product. It's a double pro, uh, so we don't have uh, the Viptera trade in this one, but remind you that it, we do have this in a straight Roundup Ready version and it has become our, our most popular uh, Roundup Ready corn for uh, really most of, of uh, Texas. And so this is a very popular corn, um, very consistent uh, performing product for our area and that's what makes it uh, one of our top sellers in the area. Yeah, and, and like Scott mentioned, when you think of 6772 or the or the Roundup Ready, the Refuge version 6770, really consistency is is the key thing because that's what it's been over over the past few years in this market. And I like to joke and say, if you don't know what to do, plant 6772, and it just seems to always always perform. Not like Scott mentioned, moderate statured plant never. Uh, never really looks like it's it's going to be there, uh, but it usually is whenever we stick the combines in the field. Um, it'll kind of fool you because really this this particular hybrid here has a very very small cob, uh, so you have you you have a lot of deep kernels there, and I think that's where where that where that yield comes from. But just excellent stress taker, one that's still going to be around uh, for us in our lineup, one that a lot of you are very familiar with on your farm.